Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be sharing with you guys a tour of my plant studio. In case this is your first time seeing me, my name is Lex and I do have an online plant store that I run right from my home. And I recently did just move out of my one bedroom apartment into a three bedroom townhouse. So I was able to create a bigger space and expand my small business. I make all types of planty videos, but I also do share a lot of small business related things like providing tips and showing you guys behind the scenes of what it's like running a plant store from your home. So this video is going to be broken down into two parts. The first part is going to be an overview of the actual room itself, showing off everything business related. So I'll be sharing things like my packing station, my desk, where I fulfill orders, also providing you guys some links of some of the products that I like to use to help make my life easier. That part of the video is going to be more focused on the business people and people who just want some inspiration for their office or their desk setup, anything like that. And then the second part of this video is for the plant people. I am 100% going to give you guys a tour of all the house plants that are in here. I'm recording this on Thursday and I did just reopen and relaunch my shop. So I wanted to get this video done before all these plants are gone because it's only been a couple hours and we have sold so many of them. So I wanted to make sure I did this video while the room was still full. So let's just jump into the overview of the room. This is an overview of the room itself. I have it kind of split in half where the first half is my desk, my photo taking station and some like business stuff and then the other half is strictly like the plant store part. When you first walk in the door I have my photo taking station here. This is where I take all of my product pictures. If you're a small business you definitely need a designated space kind of whatever it is and for me I like to have the white background. I have this white piece of photography paper it's waterproof i did find it on amazon a lot of the stuff in here i did find on amazon so please make sure that you check the description because i will have all the links to everything in the description these studio lights are my favorite lights that i have used so far i got these also from amazon it came in a pack of two they are a little pricey but i feel like they are worth it because i use it for product photography but i also use it for youtube as well so whenever i'm sitting down doing a video and it's not light enough these work perfectly and they are very sleek as well. They come with like a bag and you can just like fold them up and put them out of the way. I just keep everything out because I'm obviously going to be using this stuff every single day. And I just wanted this area to have its own space because it's just a pain in the butt sometimes trying to take everything out and set it up. I just prefer it just set up all the time. Also, you can see that I have all of my cleaning stuff here as well. I have my broom and my mop in here. If you're a plant person, you guys know how messy it gets like with the plants. Like anytime you touch them, it's a mess every single day. And I'm at the point where I'm just tired of getting my broom and my mop from like downstairs or the cleaning closet. I just needed to get a set that was in here all the time so that I can just like do things more convenient. So I do keep the broom and the mop in here and I keep them at the door because it reminds me like before I basically close shop, I will sweep and mop the floor every single night in here. So it reminds me to do it and keep it nice and clean in here if I keep it at the door. So this shelf over here, I have these black wire shelves. I have them throughout the room. They are from Amazon. They're the five tier shelves. You can customize these however you want. So I do have some of them in different like styles. They are super easy though to adjust them. So in the future, if I wanna change it up, it's not gonna be that hard. This is all of my non-plant inventory that I have for sale. So I have some potting mix things on the top, which I'm going to end up filling this quite soon. Usually I try to keep a good stock of potting mix and pond perlay already on the shelf because I just moved. I just don't have any made right now. Since restocking the store today, I literally probably have to make like 15 to 20 bags of everything because everybody's buying it, which is great. The potting mix are probably one of my best selling like non-plant inventory things. So I might end up in the future making two shelves of it, but it really just depends. Usually I do just make them to order. So we'll just see whatever works for me. On the second and the middle shelf, I have all the plant pots that I sell. I only use clear plant pots and that is the only type of plant pot that I sell. I prefer clear plant pots because 
I like the look of it and I think it's great to just keep an eye on your plant's health all the time. If you have any root rot, you'll be able to detect it very fast compared to having it in a non-clear pot. So this is kind of my thing. I only sell the clear, so I have different sizes and styles. We are going to be getting in a lot more plant pots coming within the next like month or so. We're gonna be getting the same ones that we have, the four, five, six, but we're also gonna be getting some bigger sizes like eight, nine, and 10 as well. So I'm so excited for that. And I'm also going to be restocking everybody's favorite pot, the tall slotted pot. This pot right here is everybody's favorite. It has air slots on the side, the drain is on the bottom, and it's much taller than a typical pot. We sold out of this, but I am gonna be restocking it, and I'm also bringing bigger sizes of this pot as well, so you guys can stay tuned for that. Down here at the bottom, I do keep a mixture of different things that I use for the shop. These are all the potting mix bags that I use to bag everything up. These are the new sizes, and you can order potting mix in a pound, two pounds, or three pounds. And this is what the potting mix looks like when it's all bagged up and ready to go this is a three pound bag i just introduced this size so i hope everybody loves the new sizes and then i keep some like random things i have some disposable gloves over here because i do wear gloves sometimes when i'm repotting the plants and i also like to wear gloves in the product picture so you're not seeing just like my hand when i'm taking the pictures it looks a little nicer when you wear gloves and then I have some more smaller soil mix bags here. And on the bottom shelf, I do have all of the moss holes that I sell. These come in two different colors. It comes in the transparent clear or in the white. And I just keep them down here so that I can just grab them easily off the shelf. These do come shipped flat like this and you have to assemble them. This is what an example of one looks when it's assembled. It's really easy to do. You just fold it together and snap it into place. And the cool thing about these is that you can extend them by just sticking more than one into each other and then you can have it as long as you want. Um, I sell these only in a two pack or a four pack as well. And like I said, you can get them in clear or white. So I just keep them down here for just easy access. This is my repotting apron. I have to remember to wear this because I always forget. James did get this for me, I think last year, and I need to start wearing it more because I literally always forget. But it's awesome to have a repotting apron because you can have your like scissors in here, anything that you need like on you and you can protect your clothes. So I keep it on here as a reminder that I need to start using it. And then this is the other wall that is next to the door in the photo station. I have my storage closet and I have my packing cart as well. This is an Ikea piece of furniture. This is the Calyx, I believe. It's the thing that has like all the cubbies in it and you can put like whatever you want in it. We have so many of these around the house for some reason. I don't know why we have so many, but we're no longer using them as much as we used to, so I figured I would just use them in here for storage and things like that. James, my boyfriend, he disassembled it as it was and made it into something a little bit more catered to what I need. So he removed the middle divider that would divide this in half and he left it open and installed a curtain rod pretty much so that I can have my packing paper attached to this rod at all times. I can just pull it out like that and then cut it and then roll it up when I'm done. So this is like a life-changing thing because I was just using a random box and we put the curtain rod like in the box to make it usable. I don't know, it was just so janky, but now this looks much nicer. Um, so we have that and then in the little storage behind it, you can't see because this is so large. I keep extra tape and an extra roll of this because believe it or not, I do go through this paper fast. This is what I use to wrap all the plants in. If you have seen my plant shop videos, you have seen the whole packing process and how it works. So I do use this recycled craft paper for packing all of my plant orders. We kept the divider in the middle for the bottom and I just store all of the saran wrap that I use to package the plants all the tape and my scale as well. And if you notice, this calyx is actually on wheels. We got these wheels from Ikea. The wheels were actually meant for their Alex drawers, but we bought them and James was able to screw them onto the calyx. So now 
I can move this anywhere I need it because I do plan to pack all the orders on the opposite side. So I like that I can just move this when I need it and store it away when I don't. So this is my storage closet. This room is technically a master bedroom, but we're using it for the plant studio. Um, so this closet is a kind of like a semi walk-in closet. It already had the shelving system in there, so I just kept it and I'm using it to store pretty much all this random stuff that I use for my business every single day. So at the very top, I just have some random things that all kind of need a home, but they're just up there. I also have all of my substrate stuff that I use for my potting mixes. I just have some like overstock over here. I keep some pest prevention things on this shelf as well over there. Everything on this shelf, this shelf in particular has all of the plant pots that pretty much I use in my own collection like plant pots that are just like dirty that I'll just reuse that I'm obviously not selling. I just keep them here so that whenever I need something for my plants, I can just come and grab it. One thing as a plant collector, you tend to always have tons of plant pots and stuff. And I know a lot of us, there was a time where we all just throw them outside or on the balcony in your backyard or they're in a bag and you just can't see what you have. So I wanted to make sure that I always knew what I had and kept it nice and organized. So I have them on the shelf so it's easy for me to just come and grab them when I need it. And then over here, I just have some Ikea greenhouse accessories. If you haven't noticed, I really do like clear or acrylic accessories for pretty much anything. These are all exactly that, clear acrylic accessories. That's just what I like, what I prefer, so. I have some little shelves and little things like that for the Ikea cabinets when I wanna switch it up. This shelf is specifically for all of my glassware that I have. I mentioned this in my moving vlog, but if you're a plant parent, you 100% understand the reasoning for this. If you're just watching this and you don't understand anything about plants, a lot of us in the plant community, we like to grow our plants in clear glass and use semi-hydroponics to grow them in a no drainage pot. So I do collect glass vases and cups and stuff like that and I like to use it for my plants. I just think it's nice to just have them displayed here and then now I can know exactly what I have and now I'm not going back and forth to the store rebuying the same thing because I know I already have it. I've definitely downsized a lot on my glassware collection because it was desperately needed. I feel like I was definitely hoarding like vases and stuff like that. So I did give a lot away, but this is the remainder of what I have. In the corner here, I have some more shelving. I keep all of my shipping boxes on these shelves. There are shelves on this side and on the opposite side. I just wanna explain something for anyone that's been thinking about making their own plant store, whether it be on Etsy, your own website, whatever, or you're just thinking about selling plants. Keep in mind that you're going to need so many different box sizes, it's not even funny. Don't waste your time investing in boxes with like your name on it and like cute colorful but like seriously just don't even waste your time packing plants is just no joke and i'm being 100 percent honest that like you really need to have different sizes all the time boxes get real freaking expensive so i only ship usps priority mail so you can kind of see the usps boxes since i do ship priority mail i can use the priority mail boxes but i also can use regular plain boxes as well so i don't ship like flat rate and i don't like to use specific boxes because sometimes i have to get creative and basically make a box that's going to fit a certain plant because plants come in all shapes and sizes and sometimes the boxes get really irregular when you start packing them because you have to use so much packing material. Just keep that in mind if you are thinking about selling plants. Try to make sure you have a dedicated space for your boxes because I used to have a really small closet and that was like one of the biggest struggles for me. And it really made me start like hating like packing because I just had all my packing stuff everywhere and it was just such a pain to take it all out. But now I know exactly what boxes and what sizes I have. So it makes life so much easier. And then down here in this corner, I do have some more boxes. And then these are just some larger boxes that USPS doesn't make that size. And I get all of my non-USPS boxes from Staples. I know a lot of people get their boxes from places like Uline, for instance. I was getting some of my boxes from there in the very beginning of my journey, but I quickly realized that 
their shipping price is so expensive it just doesn't make sense so they may sell the boxes slightly cheaper but the shipping price would like triple the whole order. So maybe like six months ago, I signed up for Staples Advantage, which is their business side of their regular website. And they have every single box size that you need and they have it for free shipping as long as you're a business. If you're looking for boxes as a business, try Staples Advantage because it's way cheaper, the shipping is free and you get it in like two days. So yeah, I don't really mess with Uline anymore. I just feel like their shipping is ridiculous and it just doesn't make any sense because i'm in new jersey and the store is in pennsylvania why does it cost a hundred and something dollars to ship a set of boxes i will never know but yeah that's why i don't use uline anymore this is a box of other boxes i know i have so many boxes but this is a box of like amazon boxes any type of shopping box whatever i get in the mail i break them down and save them because you'll never know when you're gonna need a specific box and sometimes these random boxes are the exact size that i need so it's good to have them and then this box over here this is just some extra packing materials that i save whenever i order all of my shipment they package the plants in like these cardboards and like sometimes like thermal wrapping and i'll just save it because what's the point of throwing it out when i know i can use it for somebody else's package so i'll just save them and i keep them in here on this side of the closet i have my bigger usps boxes over here i have packing peanuts i have a very large bulk size bag of coarse perlite and then i have all this polyfill or fiber fill if that's what you want to call it it's basically just soft cotton that's like in teddy bears and whatever um, I use that actually to package the plants from damaging their leaves and shipment. So I always need to have a very big stock of polyfill at all times because I go through this so fast. I usually order a 20 pound box about once a month from Amazon, but recently they've been out of stock for a few weeks. So surprisingly, Walmart has the brand polyfill that I like to use. So now I can locally grab it at Walmart. So yeah, if you are packing plants and you use the same polyfill, just check your local Walmart as well because sometimes they have a 10 pound or 20 pound box hanging around and they also can do shipping for free. That's just a little tip for anyone that does sell plants. And then the very last thing on the bottom, this is just a very large bin of cocoa husk. Cocoa husk is the main ingredient I use in my potting mix, so I always need a very big bin filled of cocoa husk ready to go all the time. Cocoa husk does come in a condensed brick like this. This is a 10 pound brick. You soak it in water and it will expand to its true size. And that's why I like to use the big bin because that little brick will fill up this whole bin in one go. I just like to have a big bin of this all the time because I'm always making soil mixes and stuff like that in the corner here by the window this is my new monstera elbow i did talk about it prior but like my really big monstera elbow i don't have it anymore so i got a new one it still has like cotton all over like the pole and everything and i haven't even repotted it yet planning to repot it and clean it up this week i just been sticking it over here by this window because this room does get a lot of sun which is perfect for the plants my previous apartment where I was running my business and having all the plants, I had no sun at all. So I heavily depended on grow lights. But yeah, this window gets a ton of sun. So I'll probably put this plant and maybe some other ones in the future and make like a little display in this corner. But at the same time, probably not because my cats like to jump in this window. They love sitting in it and looking outside. I do have the curtains closed because I don't want you guys to see like where I live and everything. But normally I do have the shades up so that all the sun can come in and I think that this Monstera Alba is really going to love it in this corner. So starting from the beginning, the tabletop and the desk frame are both from Ikea. They are two separate pieces. This tabletop was exactly what I needed because I like the length of it. I really prefer just having a separate frame and a separate desktop just because I feel like it's better to customize your desk however you like it. I have this black office chair that I got from Amazon. On the desk itself, I have my printer. I use this printer to print out all of the invoices for the shop. 
stuff, like everybody's receipts. And I do use it to print out a lot of my business receipts and paperwork and stuff like that too. I used to have my printer underneath of my desk, but I figured I would make space for it on the desk. And I really like that it's up here because it's just easier to reach it. And then we have like the whole computer itself. My PC, this is my old gaming PC. Um, I do play a lot of online games like MMORPGs and stuff. If you know, you know. If you don't, that's fine. But I just recently bought myself a new gaming computer, so that is in my gaming room now. And even though this computer is a little older now, it's still strong enough to edit 4K videos. I'm pretty much just going to use it until it dies, but it's still kicking and I still can edit 4k videos and even run games on it so I just decided to just bring it in here um, on this side I have my thermal printer this printer right here if you are a small business I say invest in this it's like 150 bucks I know it's a little bit pricey for a little printer but 100% is going to save you so much time and money than you printing out your labels on a regular printer this thermal printer prints in black but it doesn't use any ink so it's printing with like laser or like heat or something like that. So you're only ever purchasing just the labels for it and any other stickers that you want to use. You don't have to purchase no ink or anything like that. And it's super fast and I just love this so much. This is like my number one product that I recommend to anyone starting a business. Go ahead and get yourself the thermal printer. It will save you so much time. Mine is the Munbin brand and I got it in pink because obviously I love pink. And there's also a stand that holds your four by six printing labels as well as your little stickers. So the cool thing about this little printer is that you can print your four by six labels, but you can also make any type of sticker that you want and print it out. I do put my logo on these stickers and I package them on like all the plants. So this is just such a great investment. I love it so much. This little device here, this is a Bluetooth label printer. Um, this one is cute and convenient because it connects to your phone and it's small. I use this to label all the plants. So I just type in the plant name on my phone press print and it prints out of here. I love this because I can use this for like anything. I can use it for the plants. I can use it to label stuff around the house. It's really cute and it's really not that expensive either. Then I have my actual computer. I have my keyboard and I have this cute little mouse pad. The keyboard and the mouse pad are both from Amazon, super cute. I love this keyboard because it lights up and I'm totally into stuff like this. A lot of you guys know me just as, you know, Lex, the plant girl, but, but a lot of my personality is this kind of stuff. I do like a lot of electronics and tech and anything that has pink on it. Really cutesy PC setup, like that is like my thing. So I wanted to incorporate a little bit of my personality in here because you know, it is my store. I included some things that I really like in here just to liven it up as well. As you can see, there is kind of a theme in here, the teal and the pink. This color theme was not intentional, but the more I looked around at all my stuff, I realized I kept buying teal and pink things. So now that is just my theme and I actually incorporated the pink and teal into my shop as well. So I really like it. I think it's super cute and it still fits the plant theme because it is like, you know, plants on it and stuff like that, but it's super cute. And then on this side of my desk, I do have a cute custom made planter by my friend on Instagram, her name is Carly, and it's of course pink and teal. And in there right now, I just have my Philodendron Glorious. It's been growing really well, and honestly, it's so nice to be able to bring some plants out of my Ikea greenhouses and just have them just out in the open. I wasn't able to do that in my apartment because like I said, I had no lights, but I get so much light in here that I'm going to definitely start incorporating some plants onto the desk. I just don't know which ones yet, but I brought this guy up here and I think he looks really cute here. Then I have my really cute Starbucks cup and it is of course pink and teal, so it does match perfectly. And then I have this super cute coaster. It's like a Sakura, like cherry blossom coaster. And I got that on Amazon as well. And then over here, I just have some of my like stationary stuff like my pens, my scissors, box cutters. I have like smart timers and like plugs and other like techie things. I have a ton of grow lights in this room, so I always need smart timers. So I just have some extras, 
some YouTube stuff. And then I have like all of my thank you cards and like stickers for the boxes there. These are two art prints that my friend on Instagram made me. She has an Etsy store. Her store is called Kill Only Time. One is a picture of a Monstera elbow and then the other one is a picture of a Anthurium regal. These two plants in particular are very significant to me. The Monstera elbow is my favorite plant. Previous Monstera elbow that I had, it really just built plant life flex, I feel like. I used to get a lot of attention for that plant, so it's just really significant in like my whole social media journey and everything. And then the regal, that is one of like the first anthuriums I ever got. And I remember I got it from Equigenera and it did so well, but it did end up dying. But I just remember like feeling so happy, like getting my first anthurium. So I wanted to have two significant plant pictures in here. And also the acrylic shelves that you see on the wall, they are from Amazon as well. But I have some thank you cards, my business cards. Um, I have a little mug that says proud plant parent from my boyfriend's sister. And then I just have some more thank you cards, fragile cards, and label stickers as well. And I just put those stickers on the packages when I'm fulfilling them at my desk. The next biggest feature in this room for me is this table or desk, whatever you want to call it. This is the same tabletop as my actual desk over there, but the frame is a sit-stand electric desk. This is something that I didn't want to cheap out on, and I knew that this was going to be a great investment for me personally. Since my shop is very specific, to plants. I can't really pack orders just sitting at my desk. I need a lot of space. It gets super messy and, and we just have to use so many packing materials and things as plant sellers. I knew I needed a big table. Prior to this, I was using like one of those foldable like party tables, the six foot ones, and I would just store it away in the apartment whenever I was done. But it was like as low as this is right now. And as I was packing, I would find my back hurting really bad because because I'm like hunching over like this. And one thing in particular about selling plants is that a lot of us sellers only ship out on certain days for plants. I only ship plants out on Monday and Tuesday because I don't want them to get stuck in the mail. So I restock on Thursday and then all those orders from the week, I package them all on Sunday. So on Sundays, I could really be here for like six hours, no lie, packing like 30 orders because, because packing each plant is very particular and you really have to make sure that you are not crushing any of the leaves, you have to make sure that it's secure, you have to tape it down. It's a lot of work and having a good packing table is going to make all the difference for me. I did just buy the frame and I put my own tabletop on it. Highly recommend you do that if you are looking into a sit stand desk. I got this frame on Amazon. It really was not that expensive and it was easy to put together. It has buttons on the side down here and it has three preset options so you can preset it to however you like. So this setting right here is my sitting setting. So whenever I'm filming a YouTube video, I can bring my chair and I can sit down here and it's always gonna be at the right setting I need it. And now I have it rising up to my standing setting. Now I can pack the orders at this height. It's perfect exactly how I need it to be. And then if I get tired of standing, I can simply just sit down. So that is going to finish off the first part of this video. So now I'm going to move into giving the actual plant tour. I do have shop plants in here and I also do have plants that are in my personal collection as well. So first thing, I just wanna mention the type of lights that I'm using in here. All the grow lights in here are the Barina strip lights. These are the 10 watt lights in yellow. I only like the yellow ones because on camera they appear white. They have a white one, but it appears pink in the camera. So just a heads up if you're ever buying Barina lights. I personally feel like the yellow is easier on the eyes because let's be honest, grow lights are not cute but they do what they need to do in here. So I do use the Barinas. I do have four Barinas connected together per outlet. 
So I have one, two, three, and then four underneath here. And I just connect them together with the little extension cord. The size that it comes with is not long enough. So I had to go ahead on Amazon and find a longer one, which I will link in the description if you're running into that issue as well. Um, they do make longer ones. It's not the Marina brand, but it works for these lights. And then over here, this is another grow light. This is a standing grow light and it has five LED like uh, arms on it that you can just kind of direct the light in any way you want. I have it off right now just because of the video. I have the Hoyas on this shelf and I try to keep the shop plants as organized as possible. If you've been watching me, you guys know I'm real particular about how organized things are. And if it's not organized in a specific way, like I will like lose my mind. When you're dealing with a lot of inventory, it's definitely easy to make mistakes. I'm trying to be really, really organized and stay on top of things. I have each plant labeled so I know exactly exactly what each plant is and I'm not just going based on the pictures. So I recently did get these clear trays. I got these clear trays from Target and they're in like their little container section. I believe that they're like 12 by 12 by two. And honestly, I'm obsessed. I need to go to every single Target and like buy all of them. Like honestly, because I would like to have three trays per shelf of plants. Right now, I don't really have that many plants in here because I just moved and I didn't want to order too much. I had a lot going on, but I do plan on filling this room with like, you know, inventory. So I would like to have three trays, but the trays are great for catching water and stuff like that. I think at some point I might fill them with LECA just to soak up some extra water. But for now, I really like how it looks. It looks very clean and very sleek. On this first set of shelves, we have all of the Hoyas. We have some Hoya Sarawa. We have this one. And then we also have this guy here. We have these really pretty Hoya Polynerva. They look like little mermaid's tail. Hoya Calistophylla. This one is super nice. This is from one of our older batches. It's the last one. And then I have a selection of Hoya Chicken Farm as well. At the top shelf, we do have all these Hoyas here. We have the variegated ones. And then we also have the non variegated one as well. So this is all of the Hoyas. And then in this shelf here, I just have some of the rehab plants and like some of the ugly plants that I've been taking care of. I like to use all types of bins for like extra plants and propagation. So you'll definitely see a ton of bins around and a lot of them are empty because I just don't have any props right now. But a lot of the bins are used for rehabs and props and I just kind of store them under the shelf. Then next to the Hoya shelf we have this one here. At the top here we just have a mixture of Syngonium Red Spot Tricolor, some rare Hoyas like Hoya Guinea Ghost and some Epipremnum Marble and the same goes for the shelf under it. Here are some of the Epi Marbles. This round of Epi Marbles are so good, you guys. Like, I'm low-key jealous because I don't have one in my collection. I really wanted to keep one. I think next round I'll order myself one. We have some Syngonia Mojito. We have quite a few of them. Some really beautiful ones as well with nice variegation. And we also have a few Syngonium Red Spot Tricolor. These ones are my favorite because you get the beautiful pink, light green, and dark green. So we have a few of those and then like I said some more Syngonium Mojitos. This bin right here, this is a bunch of props. Those are all Alocasia Friday variegated corms that I'm growing in perlite and water. These ones in the front, those are like uh, my boyfriend James, that's his little project. He loves propagation and stuff. So all the plant propagation that goes on in here is really from him. He will always check on all the propagations, make new ones, change the water out, all that. Like that's his little job. He loves that. So he just has some pink princesses, like the nodes growing in there there and um, we have like a little pink princess over there with water um, in the corner I have my humidifier I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet I don't even know if I'm gonna use it to be honest I think I'm kind of over the humidifier phase but we'll see how this winter goes this will be my first winter here in this house so we'll see how cold it is and stuff and how dry it is and then I'll determine if I want to use it but right now I don't see a need to use it and then in the middle here the two shelves on the outside, they are my plants. And then the middle is the rare plant cabinet for the shop. I'm going to come back to my plants, but I just want to finish all the shop plants first. So we'll go to the rare plant cabinet next. This cabinet is two Ikea Detoff cabinets combined together. It is called the Double Detoff. You have to make it yourself. 
I know sometimes it's hard to find the Ikea Rutsta and the Millsbo in the Ikea stores, but if you ever see the Detoff and you see two of them, I suggest you just go for it and combine them together because this cabinet is bigger than the Millsbo, so it holds way more plants. So in this cabinet, we have all of the pretty much rare, uncommon, or collector plants for the shop. This is obviously going to change based off availability, but right now we have some Monstera Thai Constellation. We have some really cute ones. They all have new leaves coming in. This is an Aglionema Pictum Tricolor. We just have one left. We have a ton of Alocasia Fridex here. This big one has already sold. These little guys are gonna go up probably next week once these leaves unfurl, but I have three little guys. I'm waiting for the leaves to unfurl before I try to sell them. Down here, we have a mixture of Monstera Adansonii albals. We have some really nice ones with like the half moon genetics. And we also have some really nice Epipremnum Pinnatum marbles in here as well. These are the more high variegated ones and like the ones with like the more fenestrations than the others. So I just stuck them in here. And then we have some Adansonii aria as well. Super cute. I love the yellow and the green. This is Anthurium King of Spades crossed with an Ace of Spades. This has already sold today. We also have a Anthurium Michelle. This is a Block. We have a good mix of some pink princesses in here and then we have all of our Monstera albals down here at the bottom. These are the one leafers and then these ones are the two leafers. Then on the right side we have two more shelves for the shop. Um, there is a lot of space in the bottom as you can see just I don't have any plants right now to fill them up but eventually it will be full. Over here we have everybody's favorite the Philodendron Burl Marks Variegated. These are going really quickly right now on the shop i think i just sold another one everybody loves these i have some different sizes and different like variegation and stuff like that and then in this side we have all the amy Duria medium blues these are one of my favorite plants it is super unique and beautiful easy care and it's definitely underrated i feel like a lot of people don't know what this plant is it grows really big and fenestrates it looks gorgeous here is some other ones this one's a little bit more juvenile but still really beautiful and then over on this side we have a lot of little white princesses we have some seedlings and then we have this gorgeous white princess here i love this plant so much i love the variegation and then we have some other ones sorry if the lighting keeps changing by the way i'm recording under all the grow lights it's super bright so i keep trying to adjust it so it might be like a little off but i'm sorry about that and then in this side we have all the little pink princesses so we have a seedling pink princesses some lower variegated ones and then some like four inch ones back here so it's like all the little pink princesses as well. Now let's look at some of my plants in my collection that I keep in here. This is my Anthurium shelf at the moment. This is my Anthurium clarinervium. Super cute little leaf that just came out. This is my Anthurium crystallinum crossed with a forgetty eye. It's a big boy. This is an Anthurium crystallinum crossed with a Bessier af. This is Anthurium Michelle, Doc Block. Here's a new leaf. It's so beautiful and dark. Oh my gosh. This is King of Spades crossed with Ace of Spades back here. Another big boy. Here is my struggling Anthurium Doc Block. This is a real Exara. It's really struggling. I'm doing my best with it. It just like hasn't been doing good for the last few months, but it did push out this new leaf, but it was happening during the move, so it's not perfect. So hopefully the next one's better. This is my Anthurium Queen. Y'all know how I feel about the Queens, but this one is one of my last ones. I'm about to like, at this point, I'm like kind of losing hope with them. They're really difficult, but I can only keep one nice leaf at a time at the moment, but this one is looking nice, so I'm just enjoying it while I have it. And then here is my sad Anthurium Luxurians that has also been going through it during the move. It had four leaves, now it's down to one, and I'm really just trying to rehab it at this point, but I still love it. And then this is my little terrarium greenhouse box I have here. It's acrylic and airtight. These boxes are going to be coming to my shop very soon, so you guys can look out for that. But in here, I have a little Anthurium Queen seedling. I have a little Forgetty eye seedling. I think it's like a Magnificum cross with some Dr. Block. I don't remember. This is a silver blush. It just pushed out this cute little leaf. I didn't even notice. Yeah, I really like little seedlings. So I've been keeping them in the little greenhouse box. Underneath, I just have some random propagations and like 
regular monsteras that i've been meaning to like give to like my mom i just keep forgetting but um i have a prop here this is a monstera tie that i've been growing out we have some alpo prop and then some more amy duran prop and then on the left side this is a mixture of just like philodendrons and other plants this is my philodendron jungle boogie i grew this plant from a little seedling it's about a year old i love it so much even though it's so basic, it's just such a beautiful plant, so I wanted to display it. In the back is my big philodendron billy. Really loving life. It is huge now. It would be really cool to like hang this plant from the ceiling, to be honest. I would really like to do that in the future. This is a philodendron plamenii citrus I got from Equigenera. I hope you can kind of see, but this is a Syngonium chiapans variegated. This is one of the older leaves, and this is one of the newer leaves that's hardening. This is my new alocasia acacia fry deck variegated as well and here is one of my philodendron pink princesses i have another pink princess downstairs but this one is my favorite it's so beautiful this plant right here is my philodendron white princess tricolor it has the pink in it as well and then behind it i have a philodendron red anderson red anderson is a cross between a pink princess and a white knight so that concludes the plant life flex studio tour today i hope some of you guys were able to get some office inspiration and even some plant inspiration as well from this this is something that i wanted for a really long time and i'm really happy with how it's turning out I don't think that this room will always look like this because obviously I'm going to change things up here and there But right now I'm really happy with how it's looking and I'm just so excited for this space I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye